I'm running here live. You know, most of the time, politicians get me and they have me come down and vi videotape them. They said they're going to do something. You said you, you were going to clean up, and I see you got a whole bag full of trash there. Yeah, I sure do, you know. Be the change you want to see in the world. Or don't talk about it, be about it. And yeah. I'm just out here with my friend Kim and we're just making our neighborhood a better place to live. Now she's got some well. antiques and stuff. How, how are you? What's your name? I'm well. I'm Kim Lucini, otherwise known as Ruby Red. I'm a blues singer. <laughs> You're a blues singer? Yeah. Can you do something on the boat? Sure. <laughs> you can have my man. Wait a minute. No, no. Stop. Start over again. Wait. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a better one. You know Nina Simone? Yes. Okay, so. Let me get rid of my gum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, right. my blues mama would really not be happy if I had gum in my mouth, so. <laughs> Birds in the sky, you know how I feel. Sun up in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. Yeah. Okay, so you got and some clean up here. We got some clean up here. We're on the side of the road here in Pin Hills, Rhode Island Road. That's right. Very busy road, as you can see. <laughs> Thank the traffic you. coming down. Do you know my Jerry or Gerald? Jerry DJ. Jerry DJ. Jerry DJ. Yes. Okay. What's a DJ stand for? Is that just disc jockey? Cool. Yeah, I used to be a disc jockey right. 30 years ago. Wow. I was pretty big here in, Pitt, in Pittsburgh. Oh, really? Huh. Well, welcome back to Pittsburgh. What station? You know? I was on a bunch you of said you, you, went to, uh, you went to high school here? Yes, Penn Hills, 75 yeah. graduate. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. So, do, you, do you remember WAMO, WAMO? Mm, yeah, I work with them. I love that station. And they're gone now. I know. Well, so, I'm glad to see you out here. You're out here doing your thing. We're, we are out here, you know, doing our best to improve our community. Um, I did want to mention one other thing. I'm involved with a symbol. What's that? A symbol is right up the street from the Children's Hospital. It's a, it's a science place. It's a place for artists and for people interested in technology. And that's one of the places where I taught my summer camps this year. Now, I haven't got a chance to meet, I haven't got a chance to attend the city council meeting. What, what's in store for me when I go and attend the city council meeting? Well. Because I'm going to be recording city council meetings so people can see them. Okay. There's, there's, two, there's two things. First, if you have an issue that you would like to have addressed at the city council meeting, if you want to have more time to talk about your issue, you want to submit that to them ahead of time. That way you can be on the agenda. Um, at the city council meeting, they'll go over some of the minutes from the previous meeting, and then they'll go over each agenda item. So they may talk about some uh, different local ordinances that may have passed. The last uh, city council meeting I attended, they talked about the BOP project, which is going to bring affordable housing for veterans in our area. Mm -hmm. It's going to be, you know, you've heard of that tiny house movement yeah. going on, sweeping the nation. Well, that's one of the things they mentioned. And then they also, this is really good for people who want to move to Penn Hills. in forgivable loans that you could uh, apply for. And that's one of the things that we're doing to bring in new residents to Penn Hills. As someone running for uh, city council, I would like to have programs that are going to help improve the facade, the storefronts of some of the local businesses. And then cleaning up along the street here, I noticed that there's several, you know, empty businesses. It would be great if we had programs that will help fill up those businesses with uh, new new people who want to start up their own, their own company, you know, and grants that help people in our community and that bring in new businesses. That's
another thing that I'm all about. So, a so day Pinho, to remember. Pinho, Pinho has a mayor. We do. Sarah. How's the mayor doing? The mayor's doing well. Um, she, she does a good job at our city council meetings explaining each of the items to people. Some of the uh, minutia details that are, you can sort of get bogged down reading some of that. She explains everything um, for each different ordinances that we're passing. Um, but I feel like I can bring in new blood, new information, new ideas. I could bring my educational background, my where you, energy. Where did you go to school at? I went to, I went to the other CMU. I went to Central Michigan University. Okay. And that's in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. That's where I got my uh, bachelor's degree in business administration. Um, I also have a minor in science, which is why I also do a lot okay. of science programs. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to let you get back to work. We just wanted to see your, your cleaning up. And yes. The bag is full. Here's the evidence. So we'll let you guys, <laughs> we've, we've, had a, we've, had a, we've had a serenade here, a blue serenade, and now I'm going to let these ladies get back to work. Right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate it.